through how I package my Etsy orders, I will show how I do a rigid mailer order and then how I plan to package my notebook and pen orders. So let's get into the video. For this order I needed to prepare the sticker sheet so here I am just adding the gloss layer to the sticker paper. All my stickers are now waterproof as I now use a vinyl matte sticker paper and then add a glossy finish to the top if they are gloss. For this order I needed to have a glossy one so I then just kiss cut them on the Cricut machine. If you would like to see a video on this leave a comment below. Okay, so now I'm just setting up my little packing station. From my orders, I always use tissue paper, a rigid mailer or a letterbox mailer, a bit of washi tape, and I always add an invoice too. On the invoice, I just like to highlight the thank you, just to remind my buyers that I really appreciate them ordering from me. Now, this order included 10 mystery stickers and then the self-love sticker sheet. I'm placing them into my tissue paper. I always add a thank you business card as well and a little freebie. This month's freebie is a choose happiness sticker. I then fold the tissue paper in different ways. I haven't decided on the way I like it best yet but I always use washi tape to seal it up. I plan to put a little custom sticker in the middle just to make it look a bit nicer and a bit more professional than it does right now. After this I will add some ribbon to the outside just to make it look a bit more pretty and decorative. However I'm not sure if I'll be continuing this once it runs out as I'm trying to be as efficient and also eco-friendly with my packaging and the ribbon isn't the most eco-friendly thing to add to my packaging especially if the customers throw it in the bin. Everything but the washi tape here is recyclable. The washi tape if peeled off carefully could be reused by the buyers or the people who end up receiving these. But yeah, this is how I package my small sticker orders and put them in the rigid mailers. I always wrap my stickers in the invoice. I feel like this just adds a little extra layer and the invoice is good to show the customers what they've actually bought so they know everything is in the order. And then I put this into a rigid mailer, seal it with a logo sticker. On front of the envelope I also like to add some washi tape and a happy mail sticker as well as the address label. These envelopes I purchased through Amazon, I will leave the link down below. The same with these letterbox mailers. Again, I add some tissue paper to the bottom. Then the items, the items going into this will be will be available as soon as my notebooks arrive. So there'll be a notebook, A5, a pencil case, a pen, and a beetle tip highlighter. These highlighters have two colors on them, which means you get two pens in one. I will also be adding a sticker sheet to this set. Then I fold the tissue paper. I always fold one end again so that it has a crisp finish to it. I think it just looks like nicer. And then I'll add a sticker logo to seal that up completely. This isn't actually an order so I'm only going to show where it would go rather than sticking it on and wasting it. thank you card and freebie on that one as well. I 
I don't add the ribbon to these packages because I feel like it can squish them sometimes. But yeah, then I fold it all down and I use paper packaging tape instead of plastic cello tape. And I just do this on all three sides to make sure it's completely secure. And then I'll add another sticker logo, some washi tape and a happy mail sticker to the top as well as the address label and that is how I package all of my orders for Etsy and custom orders. So as I said this box I've just shown is a potential new product Please let me know if you like this and anything you would change about the box. And that is how I package my Etsy orders. I hope you found that useful. If you have any other questions about how I package my orders, don't forget to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you on it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.